tonight, the colorful and no doubt polarizing home run sculpture inside Marlins Park will soon be moving out. The team just got the permission it's been looking for ever since Derek Jeter took over the team. CBS 4's Hank Tester knows it well. He is live at ball, the ballpark with the plans and the reaction. Hank? Well, arts in the eye of the beholder, Derek Jeter took one look at the home run structure apparently early on, wanted it out today. He got his wish. It's out of here. Let's take a look. You either loved it or hated it. The Marlins Park home run sculpture. The So Miami structure came to life whenever a Miami Marlin hit a home run. Commissioned by former owner Jeffrey Loria, the $2.5 million mechanical gizmo was the result of a art in the public place law. I think it's a great little piece of art, but I don't think it's very in line with the sport. With that, the new Marlins ownership frontman, Derek Jeter, totally agrees. He's campaigned since day one to give the sculpture the heave-ho, and that got done Tuesday when the Miami-Dade Arts Board gave the move its blessings. So the 73-foot curiosity will exit, but not without complications. The artist, a world-renowned artist, Red Grooms, did not want the sculpture removed. And Jeter and the company that owns the Marlins might have to reimburse the county the $2.5 million cost of the structure if the move lessens its value as a piece of art. That's crazy. Do you? How come? Because he looks nice. That's pretty much the opinion of the fans who live near the ballpark who have grown used to the sculpture. You know, everybody's used to it and, and they're so accommodated with it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm a fan of it. I think it brings fans out. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they should probably keep the home run structures. New ownership, a new path, a break from the past, and the controversial stadium deal that Jeffrey Loria cut still lingers. It was pretty much highway robbery what he got away with, so I understand the wanting to go a completely different business path. Well, it's not going far. It's going to be stationed right about here, outside. It'll go off every day at 3.05, honoring our local zip code. When a Marlin hits a home run, yes, it will function also. And uh, the fans here, well, they just, in the area, they'd like to see it stay, quite frankly. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.